Horizon Chance Home Studio BX, and this is the most overhyped monster on earth, brain eating amoeba. While well, Chalk is that in a nutshell. Most overhyped. It says brain eating amoeba. How can it be overhyped? If there's an amoeba who eats your brain, I don't think it can be overhyped, but I guess we'll see. Yeah. I love Kazgazad because, you know, Kazgazad always has some topics, scientific topics that are always fun. Usually, you know, Kazgazad talks about some kind of a uh, scientific space topic here and there, something about black holes, something about the universe, and talk about existential crisis, which is kind of the most of the theme with Kazgazad, right? Some video always gives you Kuz uh, existential crisis with Kazgazad, I guess. Then, uh, obviously, recent thing is more about your immune system, which was really interesting. It's inter interesting to see how, uh, you know, complex your immune system was. And then, obviously, about disease. Th this is going to be part immune system, right? Because he's going to talk about some kind of a thing that eats you away from inside. So, your immune system is going to be part of it. So, yeah, let's watch it. Remember, we'll reflect more Rickson. Don't forget to like, subscribe. So, I know which type of videos to react to more. Check out the Rickson and there's a link in the description with all my videos. There you'll find playlists for things like Kuz Gazad. And yeah, let's watch it. A war has been going on for billions of years that breeds well-armed monsters who struggle with other monsters for survival. Having no particular interest in us, most of them are relatively harmless, as our immune systems deal with their weapons easily. But there are exceptions. Negleria fowleri is an amoeba that has not only developed a deadly taste for human brains, but is also a match for our defenses and stars in dramatic headlines. What happens when this monster enters your body? Hmm. Most of the things like this is harmless. I don't know about that. First of all, even if your immune system defeats it, which is going to be most of the time, it's like some kind of a war zone. If some kind of war zone, war happens somewhere, regardless of who won, there's going to be collateral damage all over the place. So your immune system is going to be weaker after that. So yeah, any disease is going to have some kind of effect on you long term too. Negleria fowleri is an amoeba, a microbe with a nucleus, one of the smallest life forms on Earth. It is a voracious hunter of bacteria and other critters that it devours whole and rips into pieces. Like many amoebae, it is able to transform into different stages that help it survive. But most of the time, Negleria fowleri is in its trophozoite stage, during which it looks like a squishy blob with tiny arms and hunts, divides and thrives. Its natural home is in fresh water, ponds, rivers, lakes and hot springs. But Unfortunately, it this is why I don't go outside, you know, like those people who go, oh, this, this, isn't this adventurous? Goes to places, go hiking, whatever, and then basically see a pond, lake, or whatever. Let's go for a swim. I don't do that shit ever, right? Because I know there are basically amoebas like that, cre you know, things that can kill you, deadly things in the ponds and things. I'm new, I'm, I'm you know, I don't know. Where, somebody told me when I was a kid like that. And then I researched it, and I'm like, what the fuck, these things are actually deadly. Since then, I just have that mentality, I'm not going to go into some lake or pond just to swim somewhere. But yeah. So I guess this is not going to affect anybody who's not going to go into water like that. It also feels happy in pipes, swimming pools, fountains or spas when they're not properly treated. Pipes! The warmer the water, the more it thrives and multiplies. So in the summer, when humans seek to cool off and enjoy themselves, the chances are highest that both species will interact. Because this makes it hard to avoid, millions of people regularly have contact with the amoeba, especially in warmer climates, and many people even seem to have antibodies against it. And this is mostly okay. You can even swallow it without consequences. Things turn bad when people dive or swim in water contaminated with the amoeba, and water splashes high up into their noses. In a single drop of lake water, there are millions of viruses, bacteria, and amoebae, and that isn't really a big deal. Oh. But Negleria fowleri is different. Let's zoom into the nose of an unsuspecting victim. So un unless it goes deep inside your nose, you're going to be fine, right? Only there is going to be a problem. So it's all around you, you're going to be fine. Okay, that makes sense. But, you know... When I was a uh, you know a kid and I basically went to you know swimming pools and shit like that, I remember that it doesn't matter what you do, right? I mean, there is a chance that water will go inside your nose anyway if you dive or something like that. 
enjoying a great summer day and see what happens. First of all, the amoeba doesn't really want to be inside your nose as it's not really looking for trouble. It just wants to eat a few bacteria. Instead, is. it's greeted by your natural defenses. Unfortunately for humans, Neglaria fowleri happens to be exceptionally good at generally flying under the radar of your immune system. For example, the inside of your nose is covered by mucosa, a slime filled with chemicals that kill or stun possible invaders or alert immune cells. But Neglaria fowleri is not particularly bothered by them and instead calmly checks out the scenery, mildly annoyed about the whole ordeal. Now, if you are unlucky, the tiny critter stumbles over something that actually sparks its interest. Nerve cells. Your nose is filled with a large network of olfactory nerve cells that pick up molecules from the outside and transmit their information to your olfactory bulb, the center of smell in your brain. Okay, so if you're unlucky, so there's a chance it might not detect this and just pass by, is that it? To do their job, these cells talk to each other by releasing various messenger chemicals and recognizing them via specific receptors. One of the most important of these chemicals is acetylcholine. Through sheer evolutionary bad luck, Neglaria fowleri happens to have receptors that recognize acetylcholine. And it seems to attract them irresistibly, a little like uh, moths that are attracted by light. Damn. So as your olfactory nerve cells do their job, using plenty of acetylcholine to talk to the brain, Neglaria fowleri enters your tissue. It seems to follow the chemical signals upstream. Neutrophils, crazy suicide warriors, to begin to attack the amoebae. Individually, they have no chance against them, as the invaders are large and pretty buff fighters, used to dealing with tough enemies. So the defenders swarm the intruders and kill them either by vomiting chemicals that punch holes into them or by literally ripping parts of them off and devouring them. But the Neglaria fowleri train is still on track, and while the neutrophil attacks slow them, them down, they continue to follow the olfactory nerves to their final destination, your brain. This process can take between one and nine days, and you'll probably not notice anything during that time. Until the amoebae reach the olfactory bulb, the center of smell and entrance to your brain. Your brain cells are nothing more than helpless victims, and they all release that wonderful acetylcholine. Neglaria fowleri initiates a massacre and releases an onslaught of various attack molecules. Some of them are basically little bombs that rip holes into your cells on contact so their pieces can be eagerly consumed. But Neglaria fowleri is... Didn't you just say that it, it doesn't want to hurt you or something like that? Apparently that's not true. The fuck you on about? It's, it's like saying that, you know, a lion doesn't want to hurt you because lion is just looking for food just to survive. That does, that's not the point, right? <laughs> Man, this is so fucked up. This amoeba literally, you know, finds one thing that leads you to your brain. And once it's there, it tries to eat it. I'm, I'm waiting for the overhype part because this doesn't feel like overhype. This is, this is needed hype. This is just the hype it should be. This is really fucked up. I don't know. I just feel like, what the fuck? <laughs> There's a reason, right? I mean... I, I love space, right? Space related stuff. I love physics. I love chemistry, everything. But whenever it comes to biology, I never studied on it because of shit like this. Because I know I learn of things that will creep me out a lot. I've started to, you know, watch more and more biology style video, immune system, this kind of amoebas and viruses things from Kuzgaz that it's just creeping me out, man. Is now multiplying and it's also becoming really creepy. In a feeding frenzy, it can develop up to a dozen suckers oh, called course. food cups that look like giant eerie mouths. Of course, why they not? They maybe engage your brain cells, suck them in, and rip large bites out of them while they're still alive. Now things escalate quickly, and the disease that will kill you sets in. Alerted by the massacre, millions of immune cells, neutrophils, eosinophils, and microglias invade the I'm infected in tissue, like I'm which is a problem. Your immune system is dangerous and not exactly a careful fighter. Yeah, exactly. It's like burning... Exactly. Yes, <laughs> exactly. This is perfect. Your immune system, that's why lots of people have, you know, dies from lots of pneumonia whenever it sets in. Because your own fucking system attacks the healthy cells. Because they're just like, you know, spray attack, right? They're like, wah, 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 just comes with soldiers with miniguns and just fucking fuck everything up in the site, right? 
<laughs> it's like that was that emu wars or whatever from australia right using machine guns to kill all these birds it is kind of similar to that it's gonna attack your own brain cell it's just fucked up your immune system for fucking up your brain and your brain is you right any part of your body getting attacked is like your vital organs that are your vital tools for you but brain is literally you you are the brain right everything happens in the brain everything that is you is the brain right and brain getting attacked like that that's just really fucked up down a forest to kill the wolves inside it a really bad idea in the brain <laughs> they waste no time and attack the amoeba using all the weapons available to them from chemicals to trying to eat them alive neutrophils explode themselves to erect barriers spiked with deadly chemicals a fierce battle ensues Nagleria fowlery can actually fight back itself attacking and killing many immune cells the immune system now throws everything it has at the invader but in vain. The complement system, tiny protein bombs that can kill intruders on their own, oh, are yeah. easily disabled. Ah, oh, come on. Antibodies, usually one of your super weapons, are just destroyed or swallowed. A high fever that usually slows enemies down does nothing. Yeah, that's because of evolution, I bet, right? Amoeba's like, this is an old trick. Been there, right? I'll learn that trick. Yeah, you're not gonna use that against me. As the amoeba actually thrives in the heat. All the while, the amoebae continue to multiply, fight, and devour your brain cells. A disastrous chain reaction is taking place. One major thing yeah, your immune dead. cells do when they fight is to cause inflammation, which directs large amounts of fluid from your bloodstream into the site of an infection. So as the battle rages on without a clear winner, Yo, more that is and more fluid enters the brain. At this point, the human will feel symptoms that quickly escalate. I don't want to pause too much, but even I know that even inflammations, right? There's a reason why you have NSAIDs and things like that. Non-steroidic anti-inflammatory, you know, pills basically you take. <laughs> so, obviously, you know, this kind of inflammations, right, are important for your body function. But if just done right, lots of time it can be overdone and just, you know, even the inflammation itself hurts you, Right. So imagine that happening to your brain. Inflammation is now setting in, like what the fuck? It all begins pretty vaguely. A headache, fever, nausea, and vomiting. As the battle spreads rapidly through the brain, serious symptoms appear, from confusion, inability to concentrate, to fatigue, seizures, and hallucinations. The brain swells up massively, but can't expand due to the bones surrounding it. So it compresses and disables the brainstem that controls things like breathing. Usually, within a week, the patient dies. Up to 97% of the patients infected by the amoeba share this fate. In almost all cases, by the time an infection by Nagleria fowlery is recognized, the disastrous battle for the brain is already so far along that there is almost nothing to be done. Not only do we currently not have effective treatments, there are also an abundance of open questions about how an amoeba that usually enjoys its life in open water is able to overcome our immune system so effectively. Yeah, so it's the most overhyped monster on Earth. Why? Oh, because it's so deadly, you won't even realize that you have it until it's way too late. By then, you'll be fucked completely because it will hurt like, hurt like fuck because it's attacking your brain and 97% so of basically you're just gonna die. Right? And what's more fucked up thing, if we don't know anything about it, how, like how it goes past your immune system. So it's most overhyped. So how worried do you need to be about this horrifying killer amoeba? Well, not very. While okay. the Nagleria fowlery is clearly extremely deadly and the infection truly horrible, there have only been a few hundred cases in the last few decades. You are way more likely to drown in a pool ah, than to get on. infected. Don't give me that stat. Not come only on. does the amoeba need to be flushed high up your nose, it also needs to get a good grip, and it also has to make it. All right, seriously. Whenever somebody gives stats like that, I mean, yeah, sure, but you know, there was something in the COVID when COVID started, like more people die from road accident than this. There's always stat like I'm pretty sure you can find a stat like more people died on the road in the past century. Then people died with all the diseases and then probably some stats like that exist. But come on, man, really? I mean, there are six to eight billion people, whatever, in the world, right? Everybody walks on the road. Of course, the stats are going to be high for that. But that doesn't change the fact that if you catch this, you're done, right? I mean, more people die on the road than people die playing Russian roulette with a gun. Are you going to do that because it's more safer than dying on the road? I mean, cover these stats like this. I mean, yeah, you're more likely to drown. But let's be honest. If I go in the water, I'm not going to drown, right? 
way too many people, right? Lots of people are going to make stupid mistakes because there are way too many people in, in the that goes to water, right? So yeah, more lots of people are going to drown. But I'm not going to drown. I know that. I know how to swim. I'm not going to fucking drown. But if I go to some kind of a pond water, dirty pond or whatever, clean water, whatever, wherever this am- amoeba is, there's a chance I might catch it. And I'm not going to take that fucking chance. So it's not really overhyped, right? Just because less people catch it. I mean, it's not like three people in this time period. It was like two, three hundred, whatever he said. So people do catch it and I'm not going to raise that shit. So it's not really overhyped. <laughs> Gets way through the first lines of your defenses. Ultimately, Nagleria Fallery is neither yeah, okay. evil nor a huge public health risk. But every year, some unlucky people have to deal with it. We still have so much to learn about it, and until we find a way to treat it, Nagleria Fallery will continue to be this vague and horrifying thing, hunting in puddles and lakes, and sometimes pools. Usually for bacteria, and very occasionally for people. I mean, obviously, it's not evil just like a lion is not evil, but come on. Once it, it's in your brain, it tries to eat your brain. I mean, come on, that comes close to being evil, right? I mean, just because trying to survive doesn't mean it's not evil to you, right? I mean, that's just fucked up. I mean, people try to kill mosquitoes all the time. They're just trying to survive. But does that make them any less evil to you, right? And yeah, I get it. The chance of you getting it, I mean, it has to go past lots of layers just to, you know, you getting it. But still, there's a chance. If there's a chance, if the 300 or so people got it in that time period, I mean, there's a chance you can get it. Why would you fucking risk it, right? Those drowning, road accidents, those stats don't help, right? I mean, there's going to be stats like that all the time, but that doesn't, that's not the point. Damn. Is there more? Oh, hey. Who are you? It's me, your existential dread. Um, okay. I'm here to make you question your own existence and everything you hold dear in life. Could you not, please? Too late. Just look at all these amazing posters full of humbling visualizations, like the scale of the universe. Look how huge it is and how small you are. Look at the education edition, how it dives deep into the history of evolution or all the other scientific fe- Yeah, okay, so I'm guessing this is us and that's Cus Gazette because that's so fucking accurate. <laughs> Lots of cousins that video gives you existential crisis, right? But in a fun way. Yeah, I love this channel. This is such a good channel. All this, I don't think I, I would ever come across a channel which, uh, you know, touch diverse topic and explain it in a way that cousins that does, which is really great. Yeah. Probably well, that was the most overhyped, I don't think so. I guess that's my way of thinking. But yeah, the most overhyped monster on earth. I don't even know how many things like this amoeba exist that can kill you like this. I'm pretty sure there's going to be a lot of it. I don't want. I don't want to Google it right now because I just don't. Fuck it. Yeah, maybe because because I will make a video and I'll learn it then, but not before. All right. If you like my reaction, <laughs> don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out the reaction. I did. There's a link in the description. There you'll find the playlist uh, for all the Kuzgaza video reaction I did. And yeah, I'll see you next time.